Hello YouTube. I am Nathaniel J1 and I am going to be showing you how to use your computer um hard drive to um how to use your how to use your computer's hard drive as RAM. It it does speed up your computer, but if you really want it to be faster and actually have your computer tell you that there's more RAM that will be another video of when you go to the store and find out which types to buy. So could you just please look at um, on the right side the magnifier because it will be easier to see. So first you go to start. Control panel. This works for Vista and XP but I'm showing it on Vista because I don't have XP anymore. You go to control panel. System and maintenance. Then you go down to the third one down system. Then it show you like four gig RAM, sixty four bit operating system and everything. Go to advanced system settings. It's on the left side and right top. And then it'll say Windows needs your permission to continue and then you just hit continue. Okay. I'm just gonna close that and minimize that. So this is it here. On the left side, you'll see it full, and on the right side, you'll see a zoomed in version. It says computer name, hardware, advanced system, protection, and remote. So you want to go to advanced. And under the first one, it says settings visual effects, processors, scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. That's what we're going to do virtual memory. You go to settings. Then it says visual effects, advanced, and data. Yeah. Visual effects, advanced, and data execu execution prevention. Go to advanced. And go to change. Right there it says how much um, uh, virtual RAM you have. Right now I have 5 gigs of virtual RAM. Then you have to make sure that it says automatically manage provide paging file for all devices make sure that is not checked off choose your computer's hard drive only your computer's hard drive no flash drives or any other hard drive just your main computer's hard drive so that would be C my C hard drive HP so and then you click custom stuff and when you go down to the very bottom it says total paging file size for all drives minimum allowed 16 megabytes Recommended um, 6,141 megabytes or 6.1 gigs. Currently, I have it set at 5,000 megabytes. So, in the intro slide, which is just like the minimum, you would want to have an even number near your recommend rec um, re recommended amount. So, I'm going to type in 5,000 megabytes. And for your maximum size, you would want the recommended amount or, because my recommended amount is 6,141, uh, 7,000 can work too. And you guys can't type in 10 billion and stuff like that because it does it based on how much memory you have in your computer. I have 435,380 megabytes. So right now I'm using about... I'm using 7,000 megabytes of my RAM, so 7 gigs of my memory from my hard drive is being take, taken up um, to be used as RAM. Then you click set. Then you hit OK, OK, OK. Well, it's going to put in OK, just to make sure that it works. And I... Your computer will ask you to restart, but mine's not going to because um, I've I've already had set it at that and restarted it. So um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure it always put into your settings bin. And oh yeah, this is where you get it the first time when you start. In the search bar on the start. Um, on this, I mean on XP, there'll be a little thing that says run right here, but on here you have to search it, so you just type in run. Oops, I, I typed it in too long. And you 
type in run, and it shows you four point right there. Programs run. Then it comes up here, and I type in um, percentage sign. P E M P for more for temporary percentage sign. Then you click OK. Then this is all the stuff that um. Well, this is like all the temp files like on internet game if it like saves it say a mini cut game to where you have all these levels for like trail bike that were automatically saved and stuff like that you can just select all those hit delete and you just hit yes uh, I can't do a couple of them I can't do three of them because I'm using those right now to capture this movie because I haven't saved the movie yet so this is a temporary file for that and um, I have been recording for five minutes, so I've still got time. You also should look. Yes, look. Is this something here? Oh, it's still scanning. Um. Also, you need to go to all programs. Load up. Accessories and this one. Oh, yeah, runs also under accessories. And then you go to um, system tools and then disk cleanup. So it says my files only or files from all users on this computer. So I'm going to hit files from all users. And then ask for my permission, I say OK. And I select the hard drive. It's only do it for the hard drive that has your operating system on it. Don't do it the other ones. It's not going to do anything at all. I'm not worried about it. Right now it's just scanning it. Just waiting for it. I will stop and I will... Um, just stop for one second, I'll stop recording, and I'll show you when it's done. Thanks. Okay, it is done. Once it's done, it will look like this. It will say disk clean up, and it will show, how it'll show all the list of stuff and how much it can get back. So make sure those are all selected, and down here will tell you the total. 13.7 megabytes. You would probably get a lot more than that because I do it a lot more often than you probably would. Then you go down here and you go to OK. And then you hit and then you say delete files. These are files that aren't important. Then you click delete file. And then you just have to wait for them to be deleted. Now they're done. And the uh, last one, which I'm going to do really quick, is all programs again, accessories, system tools, defragmenter. Hit OK. This will come up. You can schedule it, select what you want to, and then defragment now. Choose your main hard drive. So my HP, hit OK. And it'll start defragmenting, as you can see, right there. And with XP, there'll be all this colors that'll be moved around and everything. And there will be a video coming soon of how, um, the what type of RAM to actually buy from the store and put in your computer. Make sure always to empty your recycling box. Okay. Bye.